And he's also like, you have to get your blood work done. You have to be really meticulous about it. Of course. It. I get my blood work done every couple months. But not just for testosterone, not just for, for human shit, growth hormone, stuff. but also, yeah, for bad stuff and also for nutrient levels. I want to make sure, like, I found out that I need more niacin in my system. I found out I need more vitamin B. I'm down you know, vitamin D, big D3. Time. D3 is a big one. It's yeah. huge. It's very important. It's very important for um, for uh, muscle. It's very important for the way your brain works. It also works in symbiosis with a bunch of other nutrients. You have to have your, your nutrient levels tested. You can't just go, oh, I feel pretty good. You would, you might feel pretty good, but there might be, there might be some fucking shortcomings in your your diet or your your oh, supplementation. Yeah. Micronutrient deficiencies are the epidemic that nobody talks about. Some might even say that it's an inconvenient epidemic, especially for the pharmaceutical industry. Something so easy to solve naturally is not very profitable for the big drug companies. In the meantime, in the US, 92% of people are deficient in choline, 35% in vitamin A, 31% in vitamin C, 67% in vitamin E, 74% in vitamin D, 67% in vitamin K, 100% in potassium, 39% in calcium, and 46% in magnesium. And every single one of these micronutrients plays a role, either directly or indirectly, in testosterone production, as well as hormonal balance ratios between testosterone and other hormones like estrogen. Since vitamins and minerals are essential raw materials for the production of hormones, it makes perfect sense that these deficiencies in these micronutrients can be a true cause of low testosterone production in men, and in fact they are. Vitamin A is stored in the testicles and a few other glands in the body. Studies have shown that when there is no active vitamin A in the testes, T levels start dropping rapidly and estrogen synthesis shoots up. Also in a study of 155 male twins, a clear correlation was found between vitamin A levels and serum testosterone. In prepubertal teens, vitamin A plus iron supplementation is as effective in starting puberty as hormone replacement therapy. A vitamin B complex, which consists of eight different water-soluble vitamins, plays an important role in testosterone production and overall bodily energy levels. Deficiency in many B vitamins results in increased estrogen levels, increased prolactin levels, and lowered testosterone levels. Vitamin C has a protective effect on testosterone molecules and this is because it's a potent antioxidant and able to block some cortisol secretion and oxidative damage. Vitamin D supplementation with a high dose of over 3,000 IUs for one full year resulted in higher testosterone levels in healthy male subjects. The positive correlation with vitamin D levels and serum testosterone have been noted in various other human studies as well. Vitamin E deficient human and rodent subjects both experience a significant drop in LH, FSH, and testosterone levels. Conversely, vitamin E supplemented humans and rodents notice significant increases in pituitary LH and FSH, and also in serum testosterone. Magnesium intake has had a direct effect on serum testosterone levels in various studies. Now in this one right here, 10 milligrams per kilogram of magnesium was able to increase free testosterone levels by 24%. Here we see magnesium intake was positively correlated with high serum testosterone levels. And in this large review study, the researchers conclude there is evidence that magnesium exerts a positive influence on anabolic hormonal status, including testosterone in men. Calcium has its role in controlling neurotransmitter release and the signaling between cells and hormones. In 1976, a group of researchers found that calcium stimulates testosterone synthesis in isolated Leydig cells. 33 years later, another study saw that calcium supplementation significantly increased testosterone levels by 18% post-exercise. Selenium, mostly due to its glutathione stimulating effects, has been linked to increased testosterone production and improved sperm parameters in a few studies. Zinc also has a significant positive effect on testosterone production and a deficiency will hammer your endocrine system. In fact, zinc might be one of the most important micronutrients for healthy testosterone production. It has increased testosterone levels in athletes and exercising normal men, in men with zinc deficiency, in infertile men, and in animals. And it's also noted in one rodent study that zinc deficiency can upregulate the estrogen receptor by 57%, probably due to the fact that zinc has its role in controlling the aromatase enzyme. Boron, although not a very common mineral to supplement with, also has a few interesting studies backing up its testosterone boosting effect. In this human study, six milligrams of boron for 60 days increased free testosterone levels by 29%. In another human study, 10 milligrams of boron for seven days increased free testosterone by 28%. Correcting micronutrient deficiencies is one of the simplest and most affordable ways to trigger healthy levels of natural testosterone production in your body, without drugs and without side effects.